I'm John Carnage and I'm here at the New York Comic Con 2012. Now, if you look around, there's not many people in there, right? This is an early preview and I'm gonna walk the show floor and I'm gonna give you guys an insider look before the masses come hurtling in here and show you what it's like to set up and uh, take a gander at some of the cool stuff inside. So uh, I guess we'll just walk, right? Because it's, it's a walking and, and talking thing. So let's figure this out. I'm wearing my Tokidoki swag, so I'm ready to walk in here. And look what invites you right when you come in. Let's just dance four times now. Let's just keep dancing. Yeah. Yeah. Keep on dancing. Do that funky thing. I don't know if I have the courage to run up there and dance or not because I'm wearing too many clothing. Uh, I like to actually get up there and dance in a thong because it would actually feel way more comfortable for me. Over here, Monster Hunter ultimate nothing to do with the ultimate warrior it's just monster hunter 3 ultimate edition and if you see over there they actually have a wii u I, I i've traveled around a little bit and have yet to see that so i'm super excited to maybe get my hands on that a little bit later ubisoft is just going all out right over here is the assassin's creed 3 right next to the the the, the non-stop action of just dance 4 we have assassin's creed 3 which is coming out and like what, October, it's right around the corner, like October 33rd, first, I think. Look at that. I'm not, I'm not too familiar with uh, snail games, and I don't know what age uh, Washu is. I don't think it's wasabi, not age of wasabi. I think it's age Washu. I don't know really anything about it, but I'm curious to find out later just what is snail games? And it looks like that thing's autographed up there. Right there. It's autographed by the, uh, the makers, I suppose. Devil May Cry, right over here. This is what I've been told about. Even though getting in here early before other people have access, the VIPers, the press people, this is where the people are actually still building a lot of these booths. <laughs> in there. We're going to venture in there now. I hear this is... The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sewer, sewer, sewers. I don't know really what to call it. Let's see. So this is the uh, official sewage area of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's still being built. It's, the sewers are still being put together right now as we speak. Should we take a look? I don't know. So, hmm. Is, is this where the turtles hang out and, and fight? All of, all of the mutants out there. I know the sewers are still being put together, guys, but this is like a pre-show pre of New York Comic Con. And I just wanted to take a look in here and, and, and have a, this is what it would feel like to be a, a turtle, right? Pretty much. Pretty much. Without the pizza. Without the pizza. But we gotta make sure that there's gonna be plenty of pizza. This is not based off of the, the Michael Bay turtles, right? This is, this is. I'm not sure. No, okay, all right. Well, is, does it keep going? Well, we oh my God. I am so excited. Look at this. This is, this again, these sets are still being put together. Right, this is very, very, very pre-early for some of this stuff. For the new show, right there. I love some of this right here, this artwork. Postage. <laughs> the sewers are just oozing out with slime. Oh man, when I was a kid, I really wanted to be a mutant. That's just how early we are. We're early where the, sign, the, the, the machines are still making noises. I wanted to be a mutant, right? I wanted to take that ooze and just pour it all over my body. I wanted to just be a mutant with these guys and eat pizza all day too. Ah, oh, wow. A lot of pipes down here. A lot of pipes. And then it goes down to a whole new direction in a direction I don't even know where that goes to. I'm now lost in the sewage area. Maybe we should just go right back. That's what happens when you, when you play in the sewers. This place is, for me, being a first timer to any Comic Con, is massive. It, it, it's, a, it's a nerd dream come true. And I'm so excited to walk on the show floor with you and check out some of this stuff. This looks like Indie Corner for the indie kids. So all the hipsters that are out there will definitely come running over here once those doors open. The hipster kids, including myself, 
because you know M83 and Daft Punk and Mogwai and Boards of Canada, they're awesome, but I liked them before you. We're gonna come over here and find the newest comic book that's gonna be popular years from now and be like, see, this comic book I liked before you and therefore I'm cooler. I was on my hipster. Let's keep on walking. If you wanna be styling, if you wanna be styling, you go over there to the massive rack of shirts. But if you see right here, one of the most anticipated games of all time, Halo 4, which is coming out, what, like November, November uh, 4th, I think? I can't wait. And I've actually had some time on it because, you know, uh, being John Carnage, I get to play some of these games a little bit earlier. But we'll come back later and probably hang out with them for a bit and let you guys see what I'm talking about. So, when you guys see these massive battles that happen between Superman and Doomsday, and just a number of other villains and superheroes that fight in Metropolis and all over. How do those buildings get put back together? Craftsmen, right? Come on, let's just see this. It's the official tool of Batman. If you think about it, Craftsman, Batman. How did the Batcave get built? Craftsman tools. There you go. Why, is, why would Batman use any other thing? Man. Man is in it. Batman. There you go. Justice League put together by Craftsman. Superman, Craftsman. He, he can go and fix up Superman's ice cave or whatever, that man cave <laughs> out there in the Arctic. Oh, God. So many things out here. We have a lounging spot. And right here looks like there's a Lego person who's just kicking back. He's had a really rough day or days, I don't know how long something like that would take to build. And he's just kicking back, relaxing, looking out at what will be an ocean of people. Soon, soon, Mr. Lego Man. <laughs> it, normally running your finger through people's hair feels really good, not this guy. But it's different, it's just different, doesn't mean it's bad. Together, we'll get these people in here soon, Mr. Lego. If you wanna be styling, if you want to be styling, you go over there to the massive rack of shirts. But if you see right here, one of the most anticipated games of all time, Halo 4, which is coming out, what, like November, November uh, 4th, I think? I can't wait. And I've actually had some time on it because, you know, uh, being John Carnage, I get to play some of these games a little bit earlier. But we'll come back later and probably hang out with them for a bit and let you guys see what I'm talking about. So. When you guys see these massive battles that happen between Superman and Doomsday and just a number of other villains and superheroes that fight in Metropolis and all over, how do those buildings get put back together? Craftsmen, right? Come on, let's just see this. It's the official tool of Batman. If you think about it, Craftsman, Batman. How did the Batcave get built? Craftsman tools. There you go. Why, is, why would Batman use any other thing? Man. Man is in it. Bat. Man. There you go. Justice League put together by Craftsman. Superman. Craftsman. He, he can go and fix up Superman's ice cave or whatever, that man cave <laughs> out there in the Arctic. Oh, God. So many things out here. We have a lounging spot. And right here looks like there's a Lego person who's just kicking back. He's had a really rough day or days. I don't know how long something like that would take to build. And he's just kicking back, relaxing, looking out at what will be an ocean of people. Soon, soon, Mr. Lego Man. <laughs> it, normally running your finger through people's hair feels really good. Not this guy, but it's different. It's just different. Doesn't mean it's bad. Together. We'll get these people in here soon, Mr. Lego. So some of this stuff, I'm still trying to figure out what will it become. Like this amazing spot right here, is this a Marvel booth? Is this an Avengers booth? Who knows? Is it that little guy's booth? I don't know, we'll find out together. Video games, right? That's what I do, I'm with Twitch. And this is PlayStation over here. Let's, let's see what PlayStation's booth has to offer. PlayStation All-Stars, right here. 
battle royale. The god of wars and us are here. Right next to the lovely Creed booth. And if you look right over your shoulder, right over here, this is where the WCG tournament will be going on. There's gonna be people just storming this area, doing their best, trying to see if they're one of the tops in the world at whatever game WCG will be throwing at them. Probably StarCraft or some other game. Maybe it would be Number Muncher over here. The new gen universe because there's always gonna be a new generation, right? And this is the newest generation that speaks to the new generation that's out there. A lot of generation inception, genception, that's what we'll call it. Believe it or not, one of the longest running comic books out there, Archie Comics. This guy just keeps on running into the same trouble with the same ladies time and time again. I mean, come on, Archie. He must have the Fountain of Youth or some type of in, like immortal cockunction, uh, because he is just totally forever young. Archie, how do you do it? How are you forever young, Archie? Well, I don't know what's over here, but if you look over here, there's just so much to look at. This is the ADD in me cannot stay focused on one thing, because when you look over here, then you look over there, there's Thor just chilling. That's, that's a biker Thor right there. He's got his little gloves on. I could definitely see Thor riding a Harley. But right over here, comic books, hardbacks, all of them. Image comics over there. I'll be walking by and, and, and just staring and ooing and aahing because I remember when I was a wee lad, there was a certain character named Spawn that completely blew my mind. And then there was another character, Darkness, which took me for a spin that I couldn't put down. Over here, we have more gaming. This fantastic Nintendo booth with your own little miniature uh, Batmobile, the armored Batmobile. I wish I would have had this instead of uh, a power wheel. I wish I would have had this as a kid because I probably could have fit in there somehow laying down but I, I definitely wish, is that for children? I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out. There's just stuff everywhere, right? If you look over there in the, in, in the far distance, there's Square, right in front of the Gundam style booth. I mean the Gundam booth, sorry about that. I still can't get that song out of my head. And forever, there's just rows and rows and rows of comic book vendors toy vendors, shirt vendors, rare stuff, new stuff, hard to find things. It's just everything you've ever wanted in your inner nerdism that would bring you here is down here. And, and, and yonder. Let's just go look at those toys that you want to open up really bad, but you leave in the, the plastic in the case anyways. And then one day you're like, you know what? I want to play with this toy. And then you open it up and then you realize that's probably a really rare toy that's worth like $350 that you should have kept in the packaging, but you took it out anyways. And see, they're violent here a little bit. You leave me, I kill you. I don't know why. Um, so over here, some of the released toys, unreleased toys, stuff that I would have been playing with as a child, stuff that I'll probably still keep playing with as an adult who's still really a child inside. That is a, that's like a Sid Vicious Joker right there. He's a, he's a punk rocker, but I like it. Look at that Bane over there. That's like muscle arm action Bane. Gonna smash whatever he can get his hands on. Being, being that big, right? Where do you get your clothes from, Bane? Like, I, I wanna ask him, like, who makes some of your clothing, guys? I know where Batman would get his stuff from, but Bane, I mean, uh, it would be kinda difficult. Oh, yeah, coming over to the, the WWE zone now with some of these very, very, very familiar uh, plushies, plushies. I used to have one of the Ultimate Warrior, I used to have one of Hogan. And then you just look at all these action figures that are up here. That is awesome. The Brock Lesnar, there you go. And these are some of the toys I wish I would have kept 
in their packaging when I was a kid. The He-Man section, right? Of course, these are the, the re-release versions of some of the beloved characters from the He-Man universe. But I would rip these suckers open right when I got them. And then I look back now on eBay and other places and I'm like, wow, if I just would have kept some of these toys in their packaging, I might have had money to pay for college. So I decided not to go to college. So. Look at all these guys. I used to have all of these. This is amazing. Of course, these are all the new reimagined versions of them. But Mosquito Man, dude, you squeeze his stomach, the blood would go in and out. Oh, that was awesome. Hopefully, it does the same thing for this guy here. I'm looking. I'm looking. I remember that. So many memories. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's like Skeletor with a... Uh, my little buddy or something on his back. He's got his little best friend crawling on his back. They're going to go and, you know, enslave people and dominate the world or the universe with a little dragon on his side. That's cute. I like it. Mega blocks, right? Holy cow. That is awesome. You can do anything that you want with a mega block. You can even create your own demon to be your best friend and sidekick in life. See, more indie, indie comics, right? Unstoppable. I liked them before they became popular because I'm a hipster. And now that you like them, it's not, it's not cool anymore. It's not fair. I liked them before you. There's a Halo Mega Block right there. Master Chief. See, I always thought that he would be bigger. But, you know, now that I see him, I think I could take him. I could just spear you right now, Master Chief. Are your, can your fingers move? I shouldn't touch it. But it looks like his fingers can actually move. A Dragon Aid Redemption right over there. More of uh, books. Check them out. You can read about stars and guitars and electric things. Uh, books. Check them out. That's amazing. I, I, New York Comic Con doesn't just have comic books. It actually has books, which uh, I haven't held one in a really long time. Now we're going into like the pool of comic book areas where you, if you're looking for that first appearance of Sabretooth, I think it's like Iron, Iron Fist issue 14 or 41, you can find it somewhere out here. Or if you're looking for that, you know, maybe Johnny the Homicidal Maniac, you can find that out here too. Uh, this is where you will come if you're looking for that rare, air, that rare book that you just can't stop thinking about and looking for and looking at pictures of and you're like, boy, that's really going to look nice on my shelf next to the first appearance of Thanos. Of course, the statues, you can't have a comic con without statues. <laughs> that's amazing. I've not seen that one, actually. Beat him down, Captain. Beat him down with that American shield. And it feels really good. Beat him down with that American shield. More shirts, more, more comics, more amazing everywhere. This is easily going to dry my bank account. And this was a hard week for a lot of people, a lot of gamers out there. There's a lot of new games that came out that you had to have, right? And I guess now that I'm here, I'm going to have to have a lot of these things here too. If you look at all the bust over there, a lot of statues. It just, it's just endless. And listen, it's, this is what I dreamt of as a kid. And it took me a very long time to finally get out here and look at it all. Now I know that there is like a real Captain America shield out there, a battle one that you can like physically protect yourself with in case you get into a sword battle out there in the streets. I think these are probably little plastic ones, but I wish that I had that official Captain America shield. Uh, I know it's probably quite a couple of dollars, but wouldn't it be awesome to just run around with the Captain America shield and just hit people with it or, or protect yourself with it, go to the park and throw it at a tree? There's Cthulhu eating his cereal. More, more you know, shirts and really cool urban art. <laughs> I like that though. Cthulhu loops. Because I don't know if you, a lot of people don't say his name right. They always say Cthulhu. Uh, from what I understand, it's actually Cthulhu. And then, so it's loops. When I was a kid, I had a dream once that I was standing right here and looking at all of these toys. And I think it's just deja vu. 
It's deja vu. Wow. So it's really happening. I was right, Mom. One time, I was going to be standing in front of a bunch of toys at a Comic-Con. And see? It's real. It's real. In case you are looking for a robe, because we all live in mansions, we all have big houses, we all have beautiful wives or beautiful husbands that bring us our slippers, a robe for you. I don't know which robe would you want. I'm thinking I'll go with the Joker one. Because if you haven't noticed, I'm already wearing those colors. But that, 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 that's awesome. More, wow. Well, this, this, this is another part of my childhood. Fantastic movie, even better video game. There's just so much stuff here to look at. Duck Hunt. Which they should have made that into a movie, if you think about it. So, like, Battleship was made into a movie, right? Why couldn't they have made Duck Hunt into a movie? Or Don't Wake Daddy? Wouldn't that have been amazing? Don't Wake Daddy could have been a horror movie. Done by M. Night Shyamalan. Kind of like The Village. But with... Shh, hush up. Don't wake Daddy. Don't wake him. I had this identical uh, sheet. I remember that. I remember having this sheet. That's amazing. Uh, and then it uh, got thrown away. A lot of, this is my childhood. I, now that I come here and I look at the older stuff, not some of the newer stuff over there, I realize how many, how many things I already had and how many things I actually just said, I don't ever want it again. I'm all grown up. Now I want to become a child again. There's so much here. I barely covered it all. I mean, I touched like this much of it. I mean, this place is massive. It's huge. So to help out with that, we have interviews. We have panels. We have so much going on right here on the official New York Comic Con stream of 2012. So stick around, and I'm going to keep walking because I'm going to look. I'm not going to stop. I'm never going to stop. I'm going to keep walking forever. Comic Con! We go this way. <laughs>